Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're having a splendid day. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kim and I do videos that will hopefully help you have a better vacation. Bimini is just 55 nautical miles off the coast of Miami. Bimini is comprised of two main islands, North and South Bimini. The cruise port is on North Bimini and the airport is on South Bimini. A lot of different cruise lines are now stopping at Bimini and Virgin Voyages has a beach club there that is included with your cruise fare. But if you're not sailing with Virgin, I'm going to tell you what your options are and what is within walking distance of your ship. My husband and I were recently on a celebrity sailing. We were on the Celebrity Reflection and in this video I'm going to show you footage from our June 2024 trip. With that being said, let's dive in. Now when you get off your ship, one of the first things you're going to see is a pier. And at the end of that pier, there is a public beach. You can rent loungers and umbrellas here. When I was there, they were charging $60 for two loungers and one umbrella for the day. That's not bad if you're spending several hours on the beach. But if you just want to swim for an hour or two, you can bring towels from your ship and skip renting the loungers. If we go back to Bimini and we're not sailing with Virgin, this is what we'll probably do. We'll get off the ship early in the day and go to the beach right by the port. And then we'll stay there for an hour or so and swim in the ocean. Bimini has stunning ocean waters. And then we'll head back to the ship for lunch. Speaking of lunch, there are a couple food trucks on this beach where you can purchase a snack or a drink. I would recommend bringing a reusable water bottle on your cruise and filling it up before you head off the ship. Now just past the beach, there's Fisherman's Village. Fisherman's Village is maybe a five minute walk from the beach. There's a complimentary tram you can take that will take you to this spot. I'll give you more information on the tram later in the video. At the time of my sailing, there wasn't much to do here. Most of the retail spaces are empty, but there are a couple shops and restaurants. And there's a big open air bar. This would be a great place to enjoy a collect, the beer of the Bahamas. I'm sure they will develop this area more in the future, but right now there's just not much here. Really not worth a visit unless you're just exploring. But one cool thing you can do at Fisherman's Village is rent a golf cart. A cart rental is around $100 for the day. I believe it's $90 for a four-seater and $120 for a six-seater. And I don't think they take credit cards, so bring cash if you want to rent a golf cart. We did this on a previous cruise, and it was a lot of fun and a great way to explore the island. Bimini, by the way, is very small and it's very safe. The buildings look a bit sketchy because of storm damage, but there's not much crime here at all. Renting a golf cart is a great way to explore the island and see Bimini's beautiful beaches. Now, just a short walk from Fisherman's Village is the Hilton. It has a nice air-conditioned lobby bar. If you need a break from the heat and humidity, this is a welcome spot to rest. And they have a casino. If you're walking from the ship, it's going to take you about 20 minutes to get here. You can also take the tram here. In the Hilton, there's a small store there called Hidden Treasures if you want to grab a snack or toiletries. You can also purchase resort day passes here. I don't know if the passes are the same price as on the cruise ships, but if you do get off the ship and decide you want a day pass, you can get one here. I'll go over the details of the day pass shortly. So now let's talk about the complimentary tram, and you can catch this tram right by your cruise ship. On my cruise, the tram had three stops, Fisherman's Wharf, the Hilton, and Bimini Beach. There was a second tram that would take you directly to Bimini Beach if you purchased a day pass. To clarify, Bimini Beach is not the beach that's right by the cruise ships. It's on the other side of the island, and you do need to take a tram to get there. And to access this beach, you do need a day pass. There were signs on the ground indicating which line went to which tram. Now let's talk about the day pass. On my cruise, they were offering what they called the Resorts World and Bimini Beach Day Pass. These passes started at $55 per person. That was the price that they were selling them on the ship. But you can likely get a much better deal if you purchase them in advance on your cruise line's website. Here's the description of the Celebrity Day Pass. A short drive brings you to Resorts World Bimini, where you are welcomed with a refreshing Bahama Mama cocktail and invited to explore the 750-acre resort, including its on-site casino, restaurant, and bars. So that resort is the Hilton, which I just told you about. Kick back on a lounge chair with umbrella on a stunning beach and enjoy the two pools, the adults-only rooftop infinity pool and a lagoon-style pool, and make use of the swim-up bars. So that's what's included with the basic day pass. Celebrity was also offering an option that was more expensive that included lunch. 
As I mentioned earlier, it was $60 to rent two chairs and an umbrella on the beach right by the ship. So $55 per person isn't a bad deal. With the day pass, you get access to loungers, umbrellas, the pools, the beach, and you get a welcome drink. Celebrity was really pushing this day pass on our cruise, and I can see why there is not a lot to do on Bimini. Of course, cruise lines do offer excursions in Bimini, including snorkeling and kayaking. So there are other options if you want a more active day. Snorkeling with sharks is a very popular activity in Bimini. These are reef sharks. I haven't done it, but it's on my list, although I'm a little scared. Oh, and Bimini is known as the sport fishing capital of the world. So if you like to fish, this is a great spot. You should look into that for sure. When I was researching this video, I did find out that Bimini has had some very famous visitors. Ernest Hemingway spent two years on Bimini riding The Old Man in the Sea. And Martin Luther King has also spent some time on Bimini. Bimini is where he wrote his Nobel Peace Prize acceptance speech. I guess if you want to write something important, Bimini is a good place to do it. Have you ever been to Bimini? If so, leave me a comment and tell me how you liked it and tell me what you did there. I love chatting with all of you in the comment section. And that's all I have for you today. Please subscribe if you like cruise videos. It really helps me out. And if you'd like to talk cruising with me just a little bit longer, I will link to videos at the end that I think you might like. The video on the left is 15 fast facts you should know about Bimini Beach Club if you're cruising with Virgin. And the video on the right is all about the new adults-only beach option, Hideaway Beach on Coco Cay. That's Royal Caribbean's private island. Until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye now.